The next question we do have is from Claudia. So Claudia gave us a question and I want us to first use the map and basically looking at this map that we've been given, I'm going to read um, the scenario that we do have. And the scenario reads as follows. It says to us, Dibobo is a first year at the University of Cape Town. She has been requested to estimate the fuel costs of traveling from Cape Town to Johannesburg using the N1 route. So already we can see a little key there that we're going to be using the N1 route over there um, to attend a national youth conference. The price of fuel, LRP 95 octane petrol. So that's the type of petrol um, that is being used along the coast. So we have another little keyword there along the coast. So I think I just covered that. Let me... So along the coast is 1,293 cents per liter. So that would be about 12 rand, 93 rand per liter. And the price of the same fuel is 13 rand and 30, uh, 36 cents. So that's 1,336 cents per liter inland. So we've got along the coast and we've got inland over there. The car the students use um, has a fuel tank capacity of 55 liters. On average, the car uses eight liters of fuel for every 100 kilometers. And we have a nice little scale over there. Um, it's not very clear, but what you would do to use that scale is you would take your ruler and you would measure from there, which is zero, to um, about there, which is 100 kilometers. Whatever you find there, if it's one centimeter, it means that for every one um, centimeter, it would give you 100 kilometers. Let's see if we're going to use that information. Let's go and see if we are going to use that information. That is the map that we are given there. So the first question according to this map that we've been given over here, it's not that clear, um, but I am going to try and make sense of it. Thank you, Claudia, for this question. Very helpful. I hope that you guys are listening at home. So the first question says to us, Write down the general direction of Johannesburg from Cape Town. So you can hear already, it's not from Johannesburg to Cape Town. It says to us of Johannesburg from Cape Town, meaning that we are traveling from Cape Town all the way to Johannesburg. Whenever you are asked for the general direction and you're feeling a bit flimsy and you're not sure what to do about that, let me give you a quick tip on what you would do in terms of the general direction. So the first thing I would do if I was feeling a little confused in terms of general direction, I would have my little um, general direction compass there that says to me, Norman eats sour worms. So because we have our Norman eats sour worms, we know that wherever we're traveling to, we're going to be using this, okay? So if I am going south, the first thing I'm going to use is the south and then the west, the south and then the east. And then if I'm moving north, I'd first use my north. So I wouldn't say east, north. I would say um, north, east or whatever the direction is. OK, so let's go and see that if we are traveling from Cape Town and we are going to Johannesburg, which direction we would be traveling in. So Cape Town is all the way down there. As I said, the map is not very clear, but I am making sense of it. And then Johannesburg is up here. It means that I would be traveling that way. Okay, so if I go down, I would be traveling that way. So the general direction of this would be north, east. And do you see how I first started with my north? North, east. 3.2 asks us the following question. It says to us, give the price of fuel inland. So we're using inland. Remember, there was along the coast, 
and then there was inland. Um, so in this particular case, we're going to use the inland. We were given a price for inland, and the price for inland was 1,336 cents, okay, per litre. So the question says to us, we need to give um, the price of fuel inland in South Africa in rands. So it's not even asking us to calculate the cost of traveling. Um, it just wants us to take those cents and put them into rands. This is what we would do. We would take the cents, which is 1,336 cents. That's what we would do, okay? And we would make that rands. How do I make that rands? I know I've got one, two cents. So it would be 13 rand and 36 cents. Stunning. Easy peasy. 3.3, the third question says to us, name two towns on the N1. So now you can see we're being asked um, about our national routes. So it says to us, name two towns on the national route, N1, okay? Um, from Cape Town to Johannesburg. Let's go to our map. Let's see um, which towns we can name over there. So if I go back up to my map and I look for the towns, I would first erase this over here because I didn't um, place it properly. And then along the N1. So you can see that the N1 joins us to that way. I see Colesburg and I see Bloemfontein. Okay, so those are the two that I see over there. That's the last question that we have um, from Claudia. Thank you so much, Claudia, for that question.